Hello, let's get straight down to it. I've pre-opened this SIBO. Well, it is a SIBO, but isn't. I think, I think it would have been a SIBO 370, as far as I remember. But this is under a different brand because it was made by SIBO for another company. I think a company that specializes mainly in commercial cleaning products. Uh, it's to be a bit messy, this one. Right, oh dear. <laughs> I think this will be in uh, at least two parts. Right, I'm not going to be able to pull that out. Hang on a minute. I've actually got hold of my box cutter. I keep an eye on it now. It just keeps disappearing. So now I, I, I'm very... I'm very aware of where I put it, so it should always be where I left it. Fingers crossed. I just wanted to open this now because the box is huge. Obviously, it's not the original box. I won't be keeping the box. It'll take up less room out of the box. And uh, the recycling people will uh, collect these. Right, might be a bit easier. There we are, that's it. There we go. So, this is uh, two of two, and here's one of two. Right, that makes it a bit easier, so let's uh, pop this huge box out of the way. Right, now then. Let's open up box two of two. Oh dear, it's made a right mess. Oh, right old mess. Now from the pictures, I got this from eBay. Uh, it looks in pretty good shape. Pictures can sometimes tell lies. Is that saying the camera never lies? But sometimes it does. And sometimes the video camera lies. We never know what's true these days with CGI. Things are presented as true. But often they're not. Um, right, an awful lot of tape. <laughs> Honestly, there we go. Just rip it, Roger. Right, up that goes. Here's the cleaning head in a sort of a a teal colour, I would say. Ah, ah, oh. Just wondering if it's got the hard brush strip. This is obviously used. You do see um, commercial vacuum cleaners offered on eBay, um, and they are in a, a really terrible state. This one isn't bad. It's not perfect, but that's not bad. Um, there's a few little paint marks, they will come off. I'll make this look a little bit better. It will buff up a bit nicer. Um, so it's a model 3215. Not sure when it dates from. Yeah, it's not bad. So underneath it says Tenant NV 5400 AA Uden. Model 3215, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 150 watts. Well, that's for this, the power head. The serial number is 303823. Now, I think that's the hard brush strip because SIBO do a regular and I don't know if they do a soft anymore, but they do a regular and a hard brush strip. I think this will be the same as the BS36 360 machines. And I'm sure the red one is a harder brush strip than the standard black. But it's just one single brush on this, one single strip. I prefer it if they had a sort of a brush roll similar to the Felix and uh, X series. Because I've always found this type of cleaner, they're not as good, certainly on pet hair. So it's, you know, it's pretty clean anyway, but it could, could be improved upon. So in here, obviously, will be the main unit. 
Now I would have liked, I can probably still get the SIBO version, the latest version of this, which will have a slightly different um, power head. I might still look into doing that, but this was cheaper. So it was another sort of, oh, oh well, just, I'll just bid on it sort of thing. It wasn't something I was desperate for. There's not many vacuums I'm desperate to own, in fact. There's some I'd like to own, but I'm not going to lose sleep over gaps in a collection. There's more important things in life. I know it's silly me saying this, I've got a vacuum cleaner channel, but there are more important things in life, folks, than vacuum cleaners. I know it's hard, hard to believe, and I wouldn't have believed it, <laughs> but yes, there are. Here is... Uh, the wand and again it's clean enough but not not ibasic clean could do with a a little bit of an extra spa treatment and a buffing here's the hose i don't know if i'll still be able to buy parts for this i'm not sure the age of this machine It'd be nice if i could get a new hood in that color but personally i would rather keep it original and slightly less perfect than buy a new part that doesn't quite match the original because I like to keep things as original as possible so here's the uh, hose obviously it's not the stair cleaning hose quite short not sure if this cable is the original cable or it's been replaced it could be the original uh, so this will be the handle in here Oh, of course, because the handle is separate. Yeah, because I think on the BS36, I've got one of those. I'm sure the handle's fitted in the box. Now, this is different from the BS36 type cleaners in the fact it uses X-series dust bags, I think. So I will be able to buy the fleece bags for this. I think it basically uses the X-Series um, pre-motor filter. If you're watching this from the US of A, you may have got this machine. It might have been under the Windsor brand and it could have possibly been coloured a different blue. Anyway, it's been well packed. Oh, yeah, it's not as good as uh, the pictures um, led me to believe, but it's, you know, it's a commercial cleaner. I wonder how it's obviously been cleaned up by the previous owner and I can see some polish has been used. Um, but it's an interesting one to look at, but you can still buy. And now I've got this one, I'm, I'm more keen to get a new one while I can still get them. Uh, it's discontinued now, but SIBO do the later version with the different head, I think it's like a BS36 head uh, or 360, whatever they're calling them now, but it's got this. So the bag loads at the front on the other BS36s, it opens up at the back. So this is much more like, as I say, an X series at the back, isn't it? Where you've got your crevice tool and your all purpose nozzle. It's got the locking system here so we can lock it lock it to the head and then turn it into the lock position sure shouldn't have done that there we go so let's have a look at the details for this part so this will have the suction motor in it uh, so it's obviously in a um, 10 and 10 v 5 400 3 2 1 5 so this has a thousand watts a thousand watt suction motor made in Germany and the serial is 300 3823 and that's where it connects up to the power head which we will might as well do that now this uh, I don't know if it, I'm just thinking now I might sell it on <laughs> already and I haven't even turned it on um, See, I'm spoilt. I like I like brand new. I mean, obviously, in some cases, it's impossible, well, virtually impossible, to get a brand new model of something. But 
I wouldn't get this brand new, but I would get the the latest equivalent. Right, so that's in position. I just have to turn it. If it will turn, hang on. No, is it in right? Hmm. That doesn't lock. Ah, oh, there it is. It just needed, just needed a jiggle about, and it's uh, it's in the locked, it's in the locked closed position now. So that's fine. You've got your doobry there to release the handle, and the handle again it fits on in a similar way to the previous X series, not the X7, I think. Or oh, is that the same? Yes, I think it is. The X1 has a different system, but there's just this open closed latch, so it's just a case of pushing the handle in. Now the handle does have the cable running through it and you can move it up and down but there's no thumb operated switch so there's no connection here. The on off switch on this is just there at the top. So we push it in and then we just close this to the locked closed position. It's quite loose compared to uh, say a new cleaner very easy to move but that's locked in place and we can pull up the slack like that there we are so that's the assembly quite easy move this box and be glad to get that out of the house right so well, it's left a bit of a mess with the old polystyrene so we'll pop uh, the doobry in the tube the wand whatever you'd like to call it that slots into the side and then of course the hose that clicks into here nice firm click and then it pops into the wand like that so there we have it yeah it's pretty good shape it's uh i don't know how rare this is i haven't seen many of them oh we haven't looked inside the bag yet have we well, I'll be replacing this bag. Um, oh, it's been fragranced. Um, might keep it in for a demo, I suppose. I could do a big mess test with this for entertainment purposes, of course. Yeah, it could do with a proper spa. It is good, you know, but it's just eek, needs tweaking. It needs a. It needs a sort of. Uh, Beko 1987 Sam Watson spa type of thing where everything is stripped down and put in the bath yeah it's a little bit scratched here but for a commercial cleaner it's not bad that looks odd doesn't it it's like half it's like half the uh, back door of the X series well two-thirds but it's a similar fitting and looks like it could ah can you get new ones I'll have to have a look I haven't really researched this well actually yes you should for the SIBO I think it's a I think it's a SIBO 370 but that's pretty mucky that will wash I'm sure I can get a new one of them and if I can't find it under a tenant for spares it'll be under SIBO because of course this is a SIBO in all but name looks all very clean under there you can just about make out the motor in there. There is an exhaust filter here. See me press the button. Does it slide out or just pull off? Oh, there we go. Oh, and the button stays in place, look. That's been replaced. I don't know if that's what it would have had. Um, probably is the right thing I don't know I'll have to look on some websites to get some spares it's more really of a diffuser than a filter I'd say I expect it does uh, it will emit some fine dust through it but they're not bothered in a commercial environment are they though well they certainly didn't used to be well vacuum cleaners back in the day they weren't really sold on filtration I think they're not mainly vacuums nowadays mainly sold on I don't know convenience and lightweight and obviously cordless cordless is the big thing at the moment but bagless was the big thing well bagless still is but uh, I'm just chatting because I don't know how to get this back on 
But you know, I remember a time when the Vax tub was the big thing and it was Britain's best selling vacuum and then that went by the by and things come and go. I do see a lot of comments on reviews. People have bought a certain bagless machine beginning with D, rhyming with Myson, and um, they've bought a bagged vacuum cleaner and they've, sa they've said how much better it is. Oh, it's so much cleaner. No messy canister. So some people are moving after trying bagless. They are going back to bagged, you know. And why not? Let people buy what they like. I'm not bothered, really. If you like bagless, bagged, whatever you like, it's up to you. If you're buying it, if you're paying your money. Ah, oh, come on, Roger, get it in. If you're paying out your own money, you buy what you like. That's my philosophy. Ah, right. I'm going to... <laughs> just going to say, I'm going to pause. And it just suddenly went into place. It was a bit of a faff, though. Oh, right, pop that back in. Because I don't think I'll be able to put the bag door on. Let's just try that, shall we? Yeah, I can't put that on without the filter, and I can't put it on either without the bag. Oh, that's it. Yep. So superficially it looks clean, but it isn't clean as clean can be. Certainly it's as... If I was to sell this on, I would clean it even more. I might keep it. Who knows? I do have quite a big selection of uh, collection of SIBOs now. This is part of the SIBO collection. So there again, that's the push button on off switch. That's the bag door release lever. And you've also got a bag check slash blockage indicator. This one has manual height adjustment. You've got a dial here to turn to position one, two, three, four, and then it goes back down to one. I'll probably for this quick go, I'll put it on setting one. Right, let's see if this uh, Tenant 3215 works. does sounds like it should sounds very like my bs 36 a uh, bit hard to push even on setting two i might have to raise it and see how powerful the suction is where's the on off switch there it is out of remembering it has a bit more suction than the regular BS 36 that has the bag door at the back um, and I think maybe even with the fleece bags the X series fleece bags it might provide a little bit better airflow I thought actually this had and I've just realized it doesn't it doesn't have the same filter does it as the uh, X series it doesn't have that long long sausage shaped filter that you would find around about here on the X cleaners. And I can't recall what my um, SIBO Evolution has. Oh, that's got, um, I think that's just got a big filter at the bottom. You may have already seen the Evolution before you see this. I'm not sure. But I do have a SIBO Evolution and a BS36. The only uh, Gap really well. I need another dart. I haven't got a dart in my collection or a disco But anyway Yeah, that seems pretty good all in all. It's in good clean fully working condition and For a machine like this. I think it's pretty good to have one this this clean But I think as I say it probably wasn't this clean when the original owner had it but uh, Yep yeah, Pretty pleased with that as I said 
At some stage I'll be doing a big mess test with this because it's a big cleaner. But uh, not for a while, I'm just I'm still recovering from the other ones I've been doing so um, yeah I will do just for some fun to uh, see how it copes with a lot of debris. I think it'll cope pretty well. Well there you have it folks, that's my new, well new to me, Tenant 3215 Upright Vacuum made by Sibo. Have you got a Tenant Vacuum? Do you want to tell me about it? If you do, comment below and let me know if you've got this model or if you've got another Tenant machine made by Sibo. It's always interesting to find out about different cleaners. And you might even have this same model in the Windsor brand name or various other brands it might have been available under, maybe even Jay's and uh, the Ensign brand. But anyway, so Sibo have obviously made a lot of different cleaners uh, for different companies branded with the company's logo. But they're good, solid machines, Sibos. I do recommend them, especially if you're looking for a bagged upright cleaner. My choice, if you had to put me, you know, twist my arm and say just one bagged upright cleaner to go for, I would say the Sibo Felix, without a doubt. At the time of making the video, if Sibo bring out something better or I found another bagged vacuum cleaner that's better than the Felix, I'd let you know. But at the time of making this video in 2018, the Sibo Felix gets a big thumbs up from me. So thanks for watching. Another video coming up very soon. Bye for now.